You motherfucker too. What up? Rollo Jenkins. Uh, got an interesting point of view here. Like, what the fuck could he possibly be saying in this shit? Here's my point. Topic of discussion here now is, you know, all over the boxing scene, boxing community is Andre Ward, number one, pound for pound overall. Whether you think that he is or he isn't, the fact that he's in the discussion and it's being discussed means that there has been a a, a, a swoof or a, a shift in the whole landscape of boxing and the direction that it's going from where it has been recently. Um, and that being that, can we all remember probably this time last year or right after the Super 6 ended or right before it ended? You know, it was Ward Frock, you know what I'm saying, in the finals. And all of a sudden, Ward is very popular and well known. And all of a sudden, we were talking about a dude who didn't even participate in the tournament, was making his name off of the tournament. Didn't even participate in the tournament, but made, became more of a household name, not even being in the tournament. That being said, Think about how many people, how many individuals, how many promoters can build up fighters of tournaments, whether their fighters participate or do not participate in them. If you got, let's say we did, or we, let's say that there was a tournament at 35, 47, and 60. Now you would all have potential fighters who could potentially meet in those in-between weight classes against each other. If you got fighters fighting at 160, some of them could drop down to fight a guy at 147 at 154. You got guys who fighting at 147 who could potentially drop down to 140 to fight guys at 135. So, with a, with a tournament at 135, 147, and 160, you got, let's say, for instance, a guy like Adrian Broner. Could easily go up and fight somebody at 140 and somebody like a Timothy Bradley could easily come down and fight somebody at 140 so now you got a 135 pound guy coming down coming to fight a guy at 147 who can come down to make the 140 pound weight limit or maybe even some ridiculous catch weight because catch weights titles all that shit don't really mean you know titles don't mean shit no more we all know that you know what I'm saying? Um, so the thing that I'm saying is the fact that Lucian Butte, without even beating any of the elite guys, was able to make himself that much a name because of a tournament. There ain't no reason in the world that every other division shouldn't be trying to make a tournament. If he can do that without even participating, or beating any of the top guys in the tournament, and he can build himself and popularity up that much because of the tournament, why in the fuck would every division have a damn tournament to build up your fighter, whether you got your main guy in it or not? If I'm a promoter, and I got this guy that I think is going to be a superstar, then I take these other guys, put their ass in this tournament, and build that shit the fuck up the best I can. You know? And then you take guys... Who aren't stars or popular now. You know. They'll take cupcakes. And peanuts. And popcorn. For these fights. You get their networks. And a couple of sponsors interested in it. And it's easier for people to follow. Because it's a tournament. You'll make these guys more money and more recognition. Than you could ever do singly promoting these guys. And half the work is already done. Because it's a. Uh, uh, a tournament format The fucking Super Bowl Don't need no promotion This motherfucker's planning for that shit right now And nobody has no idea who's playing in it Not a soul But people planning for Super Bowl parties 
they probably got Super Bowl commercials already done because it's the end result of a 20 week long tournament so people can get interested in it already people can follow it you could take two guys that motherfuckers ain't never heard of and have these guys fighting in tournaments and because we know who they'll fight next we got something to look forward to and begin to know these guys win or lose and the, and the guys the stars the media hype guys outside of the tournament build up fighters that they could potentially make mega fights off of that's why I believe that Lucian Butte was the most important part of the Super 6 tournament quietly you know what I mean in a roundabout way you know that's just my crazy ass way of thinking some may agree and I'm sure some will say hell the fuck no nah. but like I said it's just my way of thinking you know what I'm saying leave y'all comments tell me what y'all think let me know <laughs>